in some Flutter applications, sometimes you will have sign in feature with the phone number. So today I'm gonna show you how can you implement the sign in feature with the phone number. So firstly, let's look the sign in section. I mean the UI section, the application, what we have in the first section, in the first screen, we have phone number form, phone number input and some information message and next button and lastly the country flags and of course or the code for example I'm Turkish and if I do like this if I search for 90 then I can find my country's flag and if I select this then it selects my country apart from that we can enter our phone number if I enter wrongly like this for example it says email phone number and but if I do like this I mean if I enter correctly then the error will gone so the next step is clicking the next button if I click it will fire I'm robot or not of course I am not so here we have verification page or confirmation we can say so it says verification code that sent to our number so this is the number that is created for testing purpose so I created this number for you this is not my phone number exactly so and I also have some verification codes from the firebase like one 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 like this the number is correct and also the verification code is correct then if I click the confirm button I successfully logged in so the screen has changed and I uh, navigate to home page and if I want to leave if I want to quit from the application it's easy to exit so this video series will be two parts first parts I want to show you folder structure and the application which is here actually and then I will explain the codes because for example here in the instruction folder we have the service and service codes like verify phone number and it can be complicated if I do uh, I mean if I explain all the things in one video so it will be two videos two video series for this video I just explain the folder structure and what we have so let me show you one more thing for example if I enter my phone number correctly or let's say wrongly like this I cannot click the next button it doesn't go further so let's do like correct way so if I click right now next button and and if it verifies me I'm not robot so we have confirmation section and if I enter my verification code as wrong like this random integers digits so if I click confirm section then I have invalid verification code error in here so there are some other errors like device not supported or server error so we'll see let's start with main.dart and here you can see widget flutter binding ensure initialized because we use some animations we use some widgets and we need this also because we use some packages and also we have firebase initialize app section this is coming from firebase we have configure dependencies and this function is actually coming from the injection dart, dart and it's for dependency injection purpose so 
generated plugin is you know flutter things so for injection config that darts i don't write these codes with my hand and it also says do not modify by hand it's generated code for the injectable so if we see the pubspec.yaml then we can see all the packages for example for the injection what we have we have freezed we have injectable generator and injectable and apart from that we have get it and these three packages for dependency injection so of course you can use also for example flutter blocks dependency injection but i prefer get it so i also use dart z for the functional programming but you should prefer fp dart if you want to do this project or if you want to use functional programming because fp dart is up to date almost let's say so apart from that we have some ui packages like phone number inputs or wave for the uh, flow i use flow builder and for forms i use uh, i use what i use phone number input as i said but anyway um, you can check it out all the packages if you pause your video right now but i will go further after the main things we have four folders application domain in structure and presentation application folder as you know we have blocks or qubits and domain folder for our models and service apart from that we have in structure in structure for implementation and core things like injectable module and in the out folder of course we have service implementation section and also we have presentation folder in the presentation folder we have some common widgets for example colors or custom app bar and maybe custom text all the things are the basic things and if you watch this video you should know all the widgets I mean all the necessary widgets of course not all the widgets but anyway so apart from the common widgets we have core folder and we have app widgets in here and in the page section we have home landing sign in and verification page home page is the page that after we sign in so landing page is not a page actually it's like uh, how to say navigator yeah we control the states and then we generate the page this landing page is also created with block listener actually but for this project i use flow builder as soon i will release a new application which is chat application and here we have landing page and there also will be a landing page and i will do it block listener not flow builder just i want to inform you so after landing page we have sign in page here and verification page lastly so apart from that in the verification page for example we check phone number and we get phone number actually which is entered by us in here we just pass this and we don't want to go back for example if i do like this and if i sign in correctly then i want to sign in in the home page right here for example right now i cannot go back let's try so if i do the wrap the scaffold widget with the scope widget and then if i return false so i cannot go back yeah like this 
so anyway let's go back let's quit apart from the presentation folder i want to show you application folder also we have state what state out state we have out qubit here we don't have lots of things because we handle almost everything in the infrastructure folder in the services section let me show here for example for changes for the sign in with phone number we just implement all the things in here in this file so let's go back we just use state and update state in the qubit file and also we have phone number sign in folder here it's different than authentication qubit in the phone number sign in qubit we also do same things we just update the state and we do not do lots of things of course here we use fb dart or let's say dart z to handle our state so application folder as i said in the previous videos is for managing state we are not communicating with services here we just manage the state in qubits or blocks to do clean architecture actually so after the application folder let me give an example here we have firebase authentication service it's service and because of that we need to implement service functions in here we cannot do these things in the qubit file or block file so let me show one example for this for you for example if you go to my github account then you can see one more project in the repository section qubit login and i didn't use in structure folder here here for example so you can ask how you could handle the firebase functions so let me show in the application folder and for example authentication we have authentication qubit and i created all the things in here it seems so dirty or for example login you can see this is so dirty file right for sign in with google or just sign in login with credentials let's say it seems so dirty because we handle all the things in here from this thing we have in structure folder this is so important thing the architecture is the core thing in your application just try to keep it simple we have in structure folder and we use services functions in here so in the next video i will explain these functions for you all the functions all the things without the presentation i mean for example i will not explain the i don't know uh, for example here i will not explain the verification confirm button because you know this is the basic thing but here you can see some navigation section of course i will explain this thing but i will not explain the margin or with hey you know these things are the basics of the flutter and the topic of this video is not for the beginners so i will explain all the things without the widgets also we have road folder for example i didn't show this folder for you because almost every tutorial i use auto road and it's so simple if you go to pub.dev and if you search for auto road then you can find lots of informations about auto road and for today i think it's enough you have just need to apply ddd domain driven design 
with the related codes. So if you want to be experienced Flutter developer and also in demand Flutter developer, just hit the bell button and subscribe to my channel. If this video is helpful for you, just like it and share with your other developers. So see you in the next video.